Okay, so uh, we're here with uh, Miss Fan. Come here. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're here to present you guys with uh, our project for a recycling uh, a club or a recycling program that we want to implement in uh, Park Place. Oh, do you think it's a good idea? I think it's a fabulous idea. Yeah, me too. Uh, the thing is that we've had in the past something like that, but it didn't really work very well. Um, right now, we don't have any program whatsoever. The cleaning ladies, they're just taking the stuff from those yeah. uh, blue beans that we have over here. But some of us are using those as trash cans, so that doesn't help. And uh, we do have a hauler that is coming every Thursday to get our recyclables. And we are so lucky that we have it, something that is called uh, single stream. Yes. Do you want to explain what a single stream is? No, why don't you? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> a single stream means that you can put everything that is recyclable in the same bin. You don't have to separate it. So you can put paper, you can put plastic, or you can put uh, element cans. What so about, it's great. What about dry erase markers? Well, dry erase markers are a different thing. We, we can collect them uh, at, at separate because they go to specific places like batteries, for example. Okay. But for the most part, plastic, aluminum cans, and paper are like the most everyday recyclables that we can collect, and this is what we're going to do. So in order for us to be able to do this program, we came up with some rules that you have over here. I know it's a lot, but we're gonna explain them to you. It's very simple. So uh, basically what happens is that you can uh, decide to participate or not. This is of, of course optional. We will like for the whole school to participate, but we all depend on you, teachers and That's students, right. okay, you. So if you uh, accept the challenge, uh, the only thing you will have to do is just put your pin, this one over here, make sure that it doesn't have any trash on it, that only has paper, plastic bottles, or plastic of any kind, uh, clean, please, and um, paper in here, and then you put it out of your uh, classroom every Tuesday and every Thursday, at 3 p.m., I mean, at 2.40 or 2.45, whenever you know is your dismissal, you just put this out and then we will just go and collect it. Yes. And there's a point system. Do you want to talk oh, about that? Yes. Um, so classes uh, participating um, in the recycling program are going to be given points. Uh, and at the end of the year, we will tally up those points and you will get an amazing prize actually three prizes. There's the okay. first position, second position, and third position. And we will announce the points every Monday on our morning announcements. So if you're winning, then your class is gonna be named. That's right, and don't worry, Mr. Portis and I, we're not gonna be the ones counting the points just to make it fair. Yeah, it's gonna be the kids. Uh, our uh, robotics club is participating in this because this is actually the challenge that they uh, that they are facing on their Echobot challenge that we do every year. Well, this year, the Echobot challenge, uh, one of the, the, the big challenge that they have to, to do this year is to create a recycling program in their schools. And so that's why they are doing this and we are helping them. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, um, the point system. Uh, what we uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to offer you guys a contract. So if you want to sign the contract, the only thing you have to do is to use a recycling bin to collect all recyclables, paper, cans, and plastic, like this one over here. If you don't have one of those, we can provide you uh, with one. So don't worry, if you sign the contract and you don't have one of those bins, we can give you one. Then B, you're gonna leave the recycling bin outside the classroom every Tuesday and Thursday, um, and you'll get 10 points each day per full bin, and partial points for partial bins. Exactly, and partial means that we, well, actually our kids, the robotic clubs kids, they're going to step on it. So it's not gonna be as simple as just putting stuff that is very, you know, like has a lot of, of a, air in it or something like that, that, that doesn't count. They're gonna step, stop, step on it and they're gonna make sure that it's packed. So if it's full and you can step on top of it and then it won't go down, that means a full bin. That's around 20 pounds of recyclable materials. All right, and teachers, you're gonna love this. Um, you're gonna collect 
we're going to collect all of your one-sided paper and please make sure that there is not any um, student information um, on those papers um, and what we're going to do with it is we're going to you're going to stack it with the unused side up in a box um, and you're going to get 500 points each so what are we going to do with the one-sided paper mr Parkas? Well, uh, what we're going to do, and it's 500 points per pack of 500 sheets, so it's uh, like a full ream of paper. Uh, whenever you have a full ream of paper, then you can just compare with a regular ream of paper. If it's like the same, more or less the same, uh, hey, that means that it's the 500 that you, that you need. You get 500 points, and you're gonna help us because what we're going to do with those 500 papers is that we're gonna put it in every tray number four of every copier of the school. So that means that if you're out of paper and you need to copy something for your classroom, what can you do? Well, you're going to select the fourth tray um, in all any of the printers and then you will um, be able to use the recycled paper which is free for you to yeah. use so you won't have to beg for more paper in the front office exactly yeah. <laughs> and you're helping the environment the only thing yes. that you cannot do is use double side copies but one side is still usable so we encourage you to use it instead of your uh, wide uh, paper because that will help the environment and it will help your you know the school budget exactly the school budget and and, and you you will have a lot of paper, yeah. you know, there for when you really need it. Yeah, and, and this is a great idea for those teachers who do anchor charts, exactly. so your kids can use the new side um, as the the part that they glue down. Uh -huh. Then uh, we do have uh, a special uh, set of points, which is one thousand points for a classroom, mm -hmm. and that is one thousand points per month. So each month that you are able to communicate with your parents uh, paperless. And uh, uh, the, the best option, uh, I mean, there are other options, but the best option will be to get 100% of your parents connected in class, do you? That means that you can uh, communicate paperless with your parents. Uh, we are not going to audit anything, or the only thing that we're going to make sure is that you have either all the uh, uh, email addresses of all your students, 100% of them, or you have 100% of your uh, students connected in class doyo, then we will give you the 1,000 points every month that you have that in your classroom. So you have a means to communicate with your parents without wasting a lot of paper. Yes, um, and the next one is one of my favorites, is um, we're gonna collect all your news dry erase markers exactly and so you get you, you get 25 points wow. per uh, per marker that you can uh, collect they are going to be collected in a special box we, we're going to talk about that in a, in a bit but basically what you're going to do is that all those dry markers we uh, have a place that we can send them to be recycled so that's why we are collecting it because we do I, I think that we do have a lot of them yes, that we just we throw in the trash can yes, and we day, could be all the recycling them. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, for five points, you will collect all your news pencils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pencils that are like this small yes. that you cannot use anymore. Even though some of your students will try to use them, like, you know, you can collect them, you can put them in a box, and we will give you five points mm -hmm. per uh, pencil that you can collect that is used. Yeah. G. Um, and we're also going to collect your uh, old batteries, and mm -hmm. that's for 10, you'll earn 10 points for each battery recycled. Exactly, and it doesn't matter what is the size of the battery, as long as it's a battery that is used up, you just put it in a box, and then we will give you uh, 10 points per battery. Okay. Uh, number H, it's a very, very special one. Yes. Because, well, uh, we do have, you remember that we said that we have a hauler that is picking up all our single stream recyclables like paper, plastic, and cans. But the batteries, the dry erasers, uh, they're not uh, going to go with the hauler. We actually need to go and, and put them there or we need to ship them. So if you or your classroom wants to do that, if one of your parents, you know, just say, hey, you know what, I'm here. I will do it for the classroom of my child, 
then we will give you the box and then if you do the shipping or you do the you know that you you go uh, physically the physical work <laughs> exactly. of going to a recycling facility, facility and then you, they give you a receipt that you actually did that then with that receipt we will give you 250 points yay mm -hmm. But you have to be the first asking for that. So if you're the first one that is asking for a trip, then we will, as soon as there's a trip available, which is going to be whenever we have a full, you know, box of something, like a batteries or, you know, the dry erasers or whatever, then we will give it to you. So you will be able to do that trip or your parent or, you know, whoever it's volunteering. So Mr. Portis, mm -hmm. um, can you lose points? Yes, in you this can. Challenge? Of course, you can. Uh, like, for example, if you're participating in the challenge, and uh, let's say that you don't put the bean out of your classroom, uh, you will lose points. So you will lose ten points because you didn't put the uh, the bean out of your classroom. Even if it's empty, you have to put it out of your classroom. So we know that we that you you are participating. Uh, you can lose points if you put trash on your recycling bin. If you put trash in here, you're making our students, you know, have to separate this trash and use the, recy the recycling materials uh, on another clean bin. So we don't want that. So if, if, yeah. we, if we see that there's trash in it, then you're gonna lose points. It's gonna be uh, uh, 10 points. Okay, uh, and I'm sorry, I said 10 points if you don't put the bin outside, but it's yeah. actually five points only for not putting the bean outside. We're not gonna enter in your classroom though. So if you don't put it, in, uh, if, you, if you don't put it outside, you are just missing that, um, you know, uh, that day. So you will have to put it out on the next uh, collecting day, which is, the, if it's a Tuesday, well then it's yes. gonna be the Thursday. Okay, one side paper, dry erase markers, pencils, and batteries. They are going to be collected monthly. Okay. It's gonna be the first Tuesday of every month. If you have one of those, you have to put them outside. The paper, you don't need to count it as, as long as you have, you, you make sure that is the same height of a, a full ream of paper. Yeah. If it's not, then we're not gonna collect it. We're gonna just leave it there and then you will have to put it back on your classroom and continue collecting until you reach the 500, yes. right? Yes. Uh, if you have dry erase markers, you have to put them in a box. First Tuesday of every month. And you have to put the count on a post-it. We are not gonna count them. You just count them and then tell us it's 35, okay? And then we will give you the points for those 35 that you collected in a box. Okay. And pencils, the same thing. You have to tell us the count. And batteries, the same thing. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, so all classes can and are encouraged to gather their recyclables on their own and count them and then leave them outside in your class. Um, and they need to be left out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So maybe you guys can designate some uh, a student to give you guys the reminders. Um, and that will all count towards your class score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the, if the, if the uh, recyclables come from the patio, from, you know, like, your students maybe are gonna be on the lookout of, of recyclable materials in the patio whenever they go to recess, and then they can put it in your bin, so it will count towards your points. Just make sure that you have a full bin every Tuesday and every uh, Thursday, and then you will be fine. But what happens if you have so much materials that they don't fit in this bin? What, what can we do for that? Maybe you can use um, a box an empty box that you have in your room and use it as a recycling bin, um, which will also earn you extra points as well. Exactly. Uh, you will get extra points for creating a, a special bin out of recyclable material. So it needs to be a bin that is made of something that you're recycling, like a fuse box, for yes. example, and you decorate it. If you decorate it and make sure that everybody knows that this is a recycle, uh, recycling bin, uh, then you will get um, 100 points Ooh. per gallon, per gallon of, of uh, volume, okay, of that. And on top of that, if you get 10 points for a bean like this, if your bean is four times bigger than this one, you get four times the points. So you will get 40 points every time 
that you put your own being outside of your classroom and it's full, like this one. All right, so all the points will be posted on um, our website, recycle.noplacelikeparkplace.com, monthly. And there will be a period of... Allegations. Allegations of five working days after the original post. Weekly updates will be announced every Monday during morning announcements. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So... And the, the winner, end. the winner at the end of the school year will be announced on May 18, 2020. And there are three prizes that you can Ooh. get. The first prize, uh, the first uh, place, uh, it's going to be a field trip to a recycling plant and t-shirts for nice. everybody in the classroom. Yay. The second place will be able to attend a two hours drone class taught by the Robotics what? Club Robo Tigers from Park Place and t-shirts awesome. for everybody so you will uh, learn how to pilot a drone and right. you will get t-shirts and the third place will get t-shirts for the whole classroom and if park place is recognized first place in the great challenge of this year's ecobot the winning class will be able to enjoy a pizza party with robo joe Yay. and the robotics even team. better so that said, if you want to participate, just ask for your contract. We are starting February the 3rd, right? It's right. a Monday. Mm -hmm. Correct. So Correct. February, February the 3rd, we will start the program. So February the 4th will be the first day that we are going to start collecting and we are going to be adding points. Right. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope that you want to participate because yes. we want to help the environment, the right? Environment. Yes, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good